I'm not gonna video. Hi, I'm Colton, and you're watching Two Geeks One Hobby. <laughs> Today we're going to be remaining the T-Lar drone that I fixed the thrust angle and me and my brother are going to try out FPV. This is my brother. Alright, we're about to try out the T-Lar drone. I fixed the motor. This is our FPV ground station over here. I'm uh, hooked up to the laptop to record right now. This is my brother, my truck. Alright, here we go. next few clips show a little bit of what the TLR drone can do. Lost it. So first impressions of my actual good flight. Um, it flies pretty well, but I think I have my center of gravity a little too far back still. It acts a little twitchy, you know, and the short wingspan makes it a little unstable. But I think it's gonna be a good FPV plane once we get the radio systems worked out. FPV systems worked out. It'll go vertical. Definitely seems like the center of gravity is a little too far back still. I'm gonna bring it in really close, okay? Yeah. Hey, there's a bird. Alright, I'm gonna plug in the airplane now. Weird, but I was flying my quad in the front yard. All right, how's the video looking? Good. Yeah, this off. All right, so the video's looking good. Yeah. I'm gonna rev it up. Well, what'd that look like? 
I'm surprised. Oh yeah. Alright, I'm gonna unplug this. Huh? That was cool. It kinda made me dizzy at first, but then you get used to it. Yeah? Alright. Yeah. Yeah. That's perfect. Alright. Oh no, I think we're losing battery. Dang it! That's the battery. <laughs> nope. It only takes a few minutes. Well, like 30 minutes, I don't know. Alright, so, I was about to do my first FPV flight on the TLR drone, and the battery ran out. So, we're gonna stay out here a little bit longer. I'm gonna charge it up, and we'll try it again. Because I really want to do this. My brother said the video quality was good, so I want to try it. All right. All right, so we're out here for our second attempt at uh, FPV maidening the TLAR drone. Um, I had my brother put on the goggles while I flew it around to check the range and stuff, and everything was good, and so I went to put on the goggles to fly it, and it ran out of battery. So this time, we got the last battery was a 1350. This time, we put a 2200 in there. It actually balanced out better than the 1350, and we should get, well, I don't know, I'm guessing like 45 minutes of flight time, so we'll see. We're just having all kinds of bad luck with batteries today. It's about to do FPV again. Had the plane battery charged this time. The goggles died. So we're just going to fly a little bit and then come back before dark with the goggles charged up. All right, it's Sunday morning. Um, the weather's nice, and I'm going to try to do FPV again. I charged up the goggles this time. Alright, looks like she's flying pretty good. I'm prepared. Oh wow. This feels awesome. It's a little scary. I don't really know where I am. Okay, I'm going out towards the radio tower right now. Uh-oh. Just crashed. Um, like, I don't even know where it is. I don't know if we had a brownout or what. It sounded like the motor kind of died, and then it just kept turning. I think I, I think I had a lockout. So, well, let's go check the damage. All right, we're in search of the TLR drone. I uh, crashed it somewhere over here locked out on me and just kind of rolled right into the ground so uh, I think I see it hopefully it's still in one piece it hit pretty hard luckily I didn't have that much throttle on but kind of went at an angle and was like Shh. so we'll see I think I see it out there all right there she is this will be a good test of the strength of this thing Looks like uh, if it's broken, I may have to build another one this weekend or something. Wow, it's still in one piece. It's 
the motor mount broke off, which happens like every other landing anyway. Uh, well, not too bad. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just build another fuselage. I can keep the wings probably. Not really sure what happened because usually when there's like a brownout or a lockout with the Spectrum receivers, it'll like have that orange flashing light when you come back and look at it to let you know that there was a brownout. And this one, the light's still solid. Like it was just fine the whole time. Um, maybe I just stalled it. I was flying really slow. I probably just stalled it because it's hard to judge your speed when you're flying FPV. And this thing's gotten pretty heavy. You have to kind of keep your speed up in the turns. And I was coming from downwind and I probably just stalled it right into the ground. I didn't have the video recorder on, otherwise I could have showed you all, but um, I'll go back and rebuild this and hopefully fly again today.